This video is brought to you by Videoblocks. What if I told you that you can create some stunning glitch transitions with a snap of a finger? Well, actually, with a click of a mouse, but you get the idea. What's up, guys? Jordy here for Cinecam.net, and welcome to Creative Tuesday. Now, make sure that your Creative Cloud is updated to the latest version, because as of the 2018 update, Premiere Pro has gotten some very interesting new effects. Oh, and before we start, make sure to stick around till the very end, as we've got a very big surprise for you all. Let's start off with the first glitch transition, and I'm going to create a new adjustment layer and place that over a cut between two shots in my timeline. From your effects library, head over to the Immersive Video folder in which we can find the VR Chromatic Aberrations effect. Drag that to the adjustment layer. This effect splits the red, green, and blue channels, already giving you that RGB split effect. I'm going to start by setting my red, green, and blue channel to zero to hide the effect. Create a keyframe for all the three in the beginning, move a little bit further in time, and change their value randomly. Then go again a little bit further and change their values again randomly, and finally bring the RGB values back to zero on the final end. Then change the frame layout to stereoscopic to get rid of that blob distortion. Finally animate the invert and change it frame per frame. This will add sort of a shake to it. If the RGB split is not popping out enough, change the blending mode to linear dodge, and you got yourself a sweet RGB split transition. For the next glitch transition, we're going to drag the digital glitch on our adjustment layer. Animate the master amplitude from 0 to 100 in the middle, and then back to 0 on the end. Then under the Distortion tab, animate both the Color Distortion and Geometry Distortion X from 0 to 100 in the middle. This gives you a gentle glitch wipe transition. It works best if you make it go fast. Moving on to the third glitch transition, and this time we're going to search for the VR Glow and apply that to the Adjustment layer. Start off by alternating the frame layout. You can let this change frame by frame, and this will already give you a flickering effect. Do the same thing with the Luma Threshold. Let it change between random values. You can do this every two frames or so, it doesn't really matter. Finally, you can tweak the radius, brightness, and saturation to fit your desired look. Glitch number four. Take the VR projection effect and animate the pan property to 180 right before your second clip starts to play. One frame forward, you change this to minus 180, and on the end, you bring it back to zero. And this way, you get yourself a whip pan transition. But let's also add a glitch to it as well. I'm adding the VR digital glitch again and change the frame layout to stereoscopic. Animate the amplitude from zero to 100 and back to zero on the end. Under the distortion, we're going to change the X distortion to 100 and the rate as well. And this adds a nice vertical glitch to your whip pan. And that brings us to the last glitch effect. Apply the VR projection to your adjustment layer and change the input layout to stereoscopic. Doesn't matter which one. Then add the VR Sharpen, change the frame layout as well to stereoscopic and increase the Sharpen itself to maximum. Finally, add the chromatic aberrations again to it and without animating anything, you've got yourself a sweet glitch transition. Make sure though that this is a short transition. 46 seconds left, and I'm going to use that to thank Videoblocks, our channel sponsor. If you're looking for more video effects, transitions, or other glitch effects, then make sure to check out their growing library by clicking the first link in the description below. There's only a single price per year, which allows you to download unlimited video assets. I'm already going to say thank you for watching, goodbye, and stay creative, but please do stay a little bit longer as we have a little surprise for you all. Awesome that you're still here and you won't regret that because we have created 20 different glitch transitions in a form of a preset pack. And that means you can simply drag and drop our pre-made transitions. And because of our sponsor Videoblocks, we are able to just give it to you guys completely for free. You can find a download link to it and a dedicated tutorial in the description below.